Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there are three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template, and once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Basic Business Invoicing Database Template. 
So if you scroll up just a little bit here underneath our small business section, you're going to want to click on the Access Basic Business Invoicing Database. Once you click that, go ahead and scroll down to our demo section and download the demonstration that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to go ahead and download this one. Once you download that file, it is zipped, so you're going to need to extract all of that file. So go ahead and extract all, and once you've extracted that file, you can go ahead and open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or warning. Now I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And with all of our database templates, you also get a pop-up box that shows all the different ways that you can contact us, as well as noting that this is a demo version of the software. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like, however I'm just going to go ahead and continue on and close this. And so this database template is perfect for if you need to create invoices as well as attach them to your customers. So this with this database template you can save customers, create new customers, and then you can create new invoices and attach those invoices to customers. So for this demonstration I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start off by creating a new customer. So as you can see on this page, you can fill out a lot of information about the customer. I'm not going to fill out everything, but just enough information for the sake of the demo to work. So I'm just going to put in some test information. Uh, we'll go ahead and put in a phone number in too. Maybe an email. And that should be enough. So um, as you can see here though, we have different uh, tabs up here. So you can also add in other contacts related to the customer. You can add in notes about the customer and then you can see if you had invoices added to the customer, they would all show up here. So if I go back to this main page here. I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this. So that customer has now been created and you can even search for that customer. So if you had an entire database full of customers and you wanted to search for a specific customer, simply search for that customer and as you can see it even updates as I type in so I started typing in B and all names that started with the B with the new database would pop up but mine's the only name in the database for now so mine's the only one that pops up search and as you can see you can edit the search fields that you're searching by if you're searching for first name city state zip customer last name anything and you can even double click this so once you get the results, you can double click that and it'll open up that customer information where you can edit any information about the customer again. Go back here, add in some notes, maybe want to add invoices, whatever. I'm not going to do any of that now though, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. So now I'm going to show you guys how to add the invoice. So if you go to add new invoice, you can see you also have a lot of information in the regards to the invoice. You have the document type, the batch number, the PO number, reference number all that good stuff. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of information just for the sake of the demo. So I'm going to select that customer that I created which was Blake Bundy. We'll leave the date today. These salesmen, these are just some test salesmen that were added in for the sake of the demonstration. So I'll just do one random. So as you can see there is some more information on here about the quantity, the description, the type, unit price, discount, percentage, tax, all that. I'm going to leave that for now. But I am going to make an invoice number. I'll just do, since this is the first one I've ever done, I'll just do number one. Um, the due date, you can change the due date of when the invoice is due. We'll make that later in the month. Go ahead and make it two days from now. So now I'm going to add a unit price to that. So if you make the unit price, we'll say $1, uh, discount zero. Let's just pick a random one. We'll go marketable securities. And as you see, if you want to click out of that, all this updates, the invoice updates, the subtotal, the total amount. You can even add in tax. If you want to add in even more information about the taxes, the percentage of the tax, you have county tax, city tax, other tax, all that good stuff. So this database template is, it's really, there's a lot of information that you can put in. You can store a lot of information and it's pretty complex. It's a pretty cool database. So now I'm going to go ahead and save and close this. So once I save and close this, it does open back up that customer that you created it for. And so now you can go to the invoices tab and you can see that I created an invoice underneath that customer. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close that. And you even can search invoices, just very similar to how you could search uh, for customers. Um, I'll just search. I'll just Since we've only created one invoice, I'll just go ahead and hit search and that one shows up. 
So if Blake Bundy has an invoice, you can see the amount of the invoice, the date, and then the due date. And you can even double click it if you want to open up that invoice again and edit some information, add in some more information, add in some reference stuff, some PO numbers, any of that. I'm not for now, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. So this database template, it's pretty complex, it can really do a lot, and it's pretty powerful. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thank you for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about any social media platform. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites we post quite frequently. Once again, thank you for watching this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough and have a great day.